A new program aims to make the streets of Sparkle City glisten. Scarlett Liz Jack shares how you can get involved. On some Spartanburg streets, you will find lush green trees, views of the city skyline, and manicured lawns. But what you will also find is litter, an unwelcome sight for residents. We need to enforce litter laws so that people are less inclined to throw stuff on our streets. The city hopes to fix this issue with a new initiative. The Sparkle City Street Program is a program designed, it's an adaptive street program designed to help keep our streets litter free and it's also a way for us to engage with our community. Here's how it works. City leaders say first a group of people get together. A lot of our volunteers um, will be individuals, families, youth groups, nonprofit organizations. They then pick a street to clean up. We look at the area that they want the streets. Um, it's a little tricky sometimes because some of the streets are maintained by the state. So we work together with the organization to find a street within that area. Once the street is decided on, the city of Spartanburg will supply the materials and pick up the trash bags. We are lucky enough to receive supplies from um, Palmetto Pride. So they provided us with um, pickers, bags, vests, gloves. And so we have the supplies here so once an organization, family, individual, youth group, um, any of those people sign up, they can come to us and pick up all their supplies, however many pickers or vests or gloves that they need, we have it. The city says it's not just about solving a problem, but a way to give back to the place we call home. It is a way to give back to your community. It's a good way to engage your community and it's a good way to beautify your community. It is a good way for people to just, you know, step outside your house, come outside, pick up some trash meet a neighbor, somebody you might not have talked to before and work together to solve a mutual problem. Applications for Sparkle City Street Initiative are now open. Reporting in Spartanburg, Scarlett List Jack, 7 News. And the city of Spartanburg asked that volunteers let them know two weeks in advance before their cleanup. You can find the link to the application on WSPA.com.